Raleigh versus Durham. We're gonna compare these two North Carolina cities head to head and see which one comes out on top. Raleigh is often considered the economic powerhouse of the research triangle. And that triangle is known for hosting top tier universities, research centers, and companies from across the world. This is the largest research park in the entire United States, and it's home to people from the finance sector, from pharmaceutical and medicine and hospitals. So both Raleigh and Durham have a very robust and diverse economy, which is a good thing. Raleigh, of course, being the capital of North Carolina is larger and it has more of an economical prowess compared to Durham, which has more of a focus on education. But both cities allow you to easily commute into the research triangle whether you're a professor or you're working in finance or something in between. By the way, my name is Benjamin and my team and I get calls every day from people just like you who are looking to relocate to Raleigh or find their next or first home in Raleigh. If you wanna know more about the differences between Raleigh or Durham, or maybe you have questions about Raleigh suburbs, then be sure to reach out to my team using the number below or by clicking the link in the description and we'll get the conversation started today. Factor number two that we're gonna look at is education. And we already kind of hinted at this, but Durham tops the cake when it comes to education. I mean, we're talking about Duke University. It's kind of hard to contend with. However, if we're just talking about public schools, high schools, middle schools, Raleigh actually has the more accredited school system than Durham. As with everything we discussed today, there's so much more to be said about all these different factors, and I'll be sure to include links to articles that I found helpful when I was doing the research for this down in the description. Next, we're gonna look at things to do, which city is more fun and has more options for me. And again, this is gonna come down to what your lifestyle choices are, what you wanna do with your time. We're gonna get into that. Raleigh being larger, is going to have more options for you, whether that's dining or going downtown, anything like that, you may find more options in Raleigh while Durham may have more of a college town feel. Raleigh has two downtowns. It has your actual downtown, which there's plenty to do there. Great restaurants, great activities. We also have a second downtown that's in the north side of Raleigh. We call this the North Hills downtown. And that's another great place for young people to go and hang out. There's some rooftop bars and stuff like that. Now, on the other hand, if you're looking for more of a thriving arts and culture scene, then Durham is going to be the winner for you. It also has things that Raleigh just can't offer, like going to Duke games, for example. So it really does just come down to the type of environment that you're looking for. It's a little more fast paced in Raleigh. There's a little more options. And then in Durham, it's gonna feel a little more close knit. Next topic is quality of life. Now, what the heck does that mean? That could mean a lot of things. If you're ever looking for a detailed comparison between cities with data, then US News is probably a great place to go to. They came to this conclusion by looking at the quality of the schools, by looking at the economic growth and stability, and then looking at overall desirability. But I will throw in there that Raleigh consistently makes the list for top places to move, and it also often ranks higher in terms of safety and the healthcare system when compared to Durham. Okay, we put it off long enough. We're gonna talk about what you really came here for and it's probably affordability. It's, whether we like it or not, very important to know that you can afford to pay rent or you can afford to buy a home. And if you're not quite making the income that you wanna be making or you have a family to take care of, then you need to make sure that where you're moving is somewhere that you can stay and thrive in. So I wanna compare the cost of living to what the national average is. If you look at the national average as 100, then Raleigh is ranked slightly above that at 105. Meanwhile, Durham would be slightly below that at 95. So Durham is definitely more affordable than Raleigh and slightly more affordable than the national average, which is cool. And the main reason for this is housing costs. Raleigh is a hot spot for companies and for people. We'll get into that. And because of that, it's attracting a lot more people, which is driving up home prices. So if you're solely making this decision on affordability, forget everything else, Durham is the clear winner. But realistically, we would want to look at both markets, look at the real estate, look at all the other factors that we're discussing here and make our decision based on that. What I found was paying a premium for a property in Raleigh was right for me and my situation, and it may be right for yours. Okay, let's talk about transportation and traffic. 
if you are going to commute to work and you're not working remotely, then this is important. And as an agent, I'm always driving around my city, so this was important to me too. In a poll that looked at all the major cities throughout the US, Raleigh is straight in the middle, average when it comes to congestion and traffic and infrastructure. Durham was ranked significantly higher. One survey even said that Durham drivers spend half the amount of time in traffic than Raleigh drivers do. And when I moved here, everyone complained about the traffic. Coming from Dallas, I laughed because traffic and construction was way more prevalent in Dallas than it is here, and that is absolutely true. But it's still an issue, and it's something they're actively working on. We're going to need to invest more heavily into infrastructure, or it's gonna get real congested real fast. Both cities also have a decent public transportation system, nothing to write home about, and they're both relatively walkable too, which is a nice thing to have. On to the next one, let's look at nature between Raleigh and Durham. I'm gonna be completely honest with you, this is a complete wash because both cities have excellent nature and there's so much to do at either one. They're also close enough together in this little metroplex that you can live in Raleigh and go to Durham all the time or vice versa. If you are looking for trails and lakes, hikes, mountain biking, rock climbing, going to parks, all that kind of good stuff, then you're gonna find it at both Raleigh and at Durham. Last but not least, let's look at the real estate differences. And this is my favorite subject as a real estate agent. I help people all the time find their next or first home in Raleigh, North Carolina. And let me tell you, people love buying homes in Raleigh, North Carolina. And it's not just Raleigh, it's Durham too. US News said that in 2023, Durham was the second hottest real estate market in the entire country. Raleigh was ranked third. So this Metroplex quite literally has a dominating stake in the growth of the US real estate market. Alongside all the people coming into Raleigh, Durham, we also have a lot of companies moving in, which I've talked about in other videos. This includes Google and other big Fortune 500 companies who are staking headquarters in Raleigh or Cary. Because of this, we're expecting massive appreciation in both our real estate market and our economy at large. If you're looking for affordable housing in a growing economy, then Durham is your choice. If you're looking for something with maybe a little more appreciation, but you're gonna pay a premium for that location, then Raleigh might be for you. So who won out of the two? If I had to give you a straight up answer, and this is totally biased, I absolutely love Raleigh, but Durham is not a bad place to live either. They are both highly ranked cities with plenty to do, and either way you're buying into an amazing Metroplex that is bound for growth. If you're looking for a place that's affordable, maybe has more of a close-knit vibe, then go to Durham. And if you want more of that nightlife, more adventure, if you want a bigger economy and more to do, then go to Raleigh. If you're considering making a move to either Raleigh or Durham, or perhaps looking for your next or first home in the area, then I'm sure you have a lot of questions about the different suburbs or the real estate market at large or how the whole process works. If you do, once again, my number is down below. You can also click the link in the description and set up a quick consultation call with me and my team. And for more Raleigh real estate videos, make sure you click on this video next.